time I'm gonna swing from the chandelier from the chandelier I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist like it doesn't exist I'm gonna fly like a bird through the night Feel my tears as they dry I'm gonna swing From the chandelier From the chandelier Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the VentureCraft Vanilla Survival Server This is episode 16 And today we are going to do something that we have been putting off for quite a few episodes. In the previous few episodes we've been working everywhere around the base and right now I would like to focus on certain builds here that need to be finished and I mean like really need to be finished so oh my god <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, I gotta check that out. So, what I was saying is, we have this storage system here for the zombie farm that's right here beneath the ground. This is the entrance um, where I'm standing in. Uh, and we have to extend this building upwards. And we have a nice plateau here, and I have some plans for it, but uh, more about that in the future episodes. But in the two episodes ago, uh, I did a collaboration with Mir, on this storage system and I did a little bit of decorating here and <laughs> all right and we did redstone together with Mia and it looks marvelous he did an elevator as I can see nice and it sorts all the items that we need so it means it works really really good he placed an input chest right here and let's see if we can take some items here and place them in the chest yep it's working it's working everything is fine so what I would like to do in today's episode is work a little bit on the upper area for this project I'm gonna need a little bit of wood so yeah a lot of supplies and spruce as we know saves the day uh, let me just pick up <laughs> a little bit of these as well here we are at the crime scene and I've got some items here that I can use hopefully for this build. So what I hmm, I'm gonna have to have in mind not to block this or this, which is going to be a bit difficult. And I can see already that I'm missing a certain item right here. <laughs> There we go. All right. Now, what can I do? Hmm. I went with the most interesting solution that I can think of, and that's just to place an upside down stair along, <laughs> along the line right there. And I did that same thing on this side and on the other side until I met the dirt platform. But you'll, you'll see the, the other side in a second. I'm still amazed by those chickens. Uh, later I'm going to go check them out. But here I left the gap in the middle that's like five blocks apart from each other, from that and that. Uh, what I would like to he uh, have here are stairs. Now let me craft a little bit of these. And let's try and draw an outline. So that's gonna go like this, like that. Amazing. All right. I'm not quite satisfied with this yet. Hmm. Cause I think I'm just gonna have stairs here on this level. So probably have to extend this spot like that. So something like that. And I can see right away that I don't like this design at all. <laughs> Let me see if I can if I have any slabs here. So how about this? Is this going to improve things at all? 
Come back, block. I'm misplacing blocks like a crazy person. Okay. Now that's better to have like a slight transition, maybe, maybe even one right here. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Okay, let's start with one and then have two and then have uh, three. But then here's the problem. Yeah, that, this is not going to work like that. I'm going to have to think about something else. Hmm. All right, I have solved the problem of the staircase. It's a, it's a decent uh, it's a decent solution, but don't judge it yet. I still have to add some details right here on the wall. Uh, mm, yes, I don't have those, <laughs> but I have a crafting table and I have a lot of spruce. That always saves the day. Remember, if you have a trouble, spruce will always save the day. This is so expensive, and I use it a lot. Now these spruce trap doors really solve the problem. Uh, this bit was a little bit too stony. <laughs> I don't know what, what other word I could use here, but let's go with that one. Uh, so yeah, this, this helped a lot. So these corners, I think I'm gonna fill with these. And um, yeah, I have them on me. I'm gonna use spruce logs and place them on top of these slabs. I have no idea how high this is right now. <laughs> Never mind. Let's do that on the uh, this same thing on the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, ten. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 yes, yes, managed. Okay. Um, can I get up there? A little bit of scaffolding. There we go. Uh, this is not in line. Not in line. Not in line. This should be in line. Okay. Um, let's repeat the same thing on, on those corners as well. Okay, these four pillars look really good. Really decent. I'm not going to say good. They look decent at this point. I'm going to detail them a little bit later. But what I would like to do now is work on something that is going to connect them in an arch way, for example. And for that, I think I'm going to use some fences. So let's see what happens if I place fences in an arch way and maybe also add spruce trapdoors right here. Is that going to improve? Not really. That looks off a lot. <laughs> I did it. The arches made out of fences really look nice and I'm quite pleased with this even though it's not the same on all sides. I have a tree here and I was thinking like maybe not even remove it. Just let let the branches go through. <laughs> and this is what yeah, it, it looks fine. It looks fine. Um this one has two blocks in the middle instead of one like we have it on this side. And right here, I have Mir's um, water stream, water elevator for the items to be sorted. And this is the sorter underneath. What I was thinking is to maybe just build some kind of wall. Some kind of wall going like this. And then we can have something in here like a display room or something like that that we can observe the outside area from I still have to think of the purpose that I want to have here but I don't know I don't know yet at this point uh, yeah but I, I solved the corners the problem with the corners instead of having the slab over there I just extended the <laughs> the pillar all the way down to the ground and it looks fine and it looks really fine um, staircase, not marvelous, and everything. I just close this off in the simplest way possible, using some slabs and stairs. Gradually got it all the way to that point, and then I have this wall just extended and connected to that side over there. 
what I did here was just placing some torches here and closing it off with the spruce trapdoor, which is kind of nice. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see now what I can do about that wall over there. One little creeper, two little creeper, three little keeper. Where's the fourth one? There it is. Four creepers spawned in the same spot. No other mob, just creepers. This is unbelievable. Just a little progress update. I think I solved the problem with the window. I'm not sure how, how exactly I'm going to tackle this problem of making it more more window <laughs> to look as it is a window but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this maybe something will come uh, to mind what I've done also was placed beams all across the top layer and as you can see here I kind of crossed them uh, here at the meeting point then I copied the same design here on the bottom and I thought it would be cool to have the same pattern going at the top at the bottom so I just extended them on all four sides so it looks like this arch is being held by these sticky bits I think I'm just gonna go and stick with the stone slabs here on the top as some kind of railing because I think if I've placed anything that is a bit taller than this I would lose on the on the feeling of an open space right here so I think I'm just gonna stay and yeah I'm gonna stay stay on this idea um, now the next thing I guess is a roof but I have no idea what kind of roof I should place here I think I couldn't complicate my life anymore <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go with this kind of look and I have a problem here now there's one block in the middle but here we have a double one block double so that's gonna be interesting once they meet in the middle um, somewhere around here I guess <laughs> roof is going to be an interesting design and I don't know what to do with this gap here maybe leave it open or fill it in with something I don't know First, I'm gonna have to raise a roof a little bit, and then take a look at look at it from from the way over there <laughs> to be able to get that kind of conclusion. Before I do any roof building, I have to go and chop some wood. I'm out of materials when it comes to oak. First time in the history of playing Minecraft, I don't have an oak material. I've got a lot of spruce. Spruce saves the day. Looking at this build from far away, it looks interesting. Definitely something's missing right here. So I'm going to take care of that. But I've added a box made out of spruce wood. Just like that. And it looks kind of derpy. I would like to add another layer but when I looked at it from down below it didn't look that steep as I wanted to I'm gonna die <laughs> uh, it didn't look that steep so I've tried with this probably going to end up removing it because I don't like it but the roof up to that point looks rather cool Guys, Building Inspector Mir has come and is evaluating the build, but he's keeping quiet, so I don't know if he likes it or not. I'm just going to assume that he likes it because he didn't say a word, but he's probably going to undertake some kind of project over there. <laughs> right, um, why, why did I start recording uh, right now? Because... Mir was kind of funny, he just came here and was like, hmm, and he just left. <laughs> also, I'm going to try and add spruce stairs, not on this line, but on this second line around. So maybe I'll get a bit of uh, variation in color, and also uh, to deceive an eye 
by getting some kind of depth in this build. I think that could look cool. The only problem that I could encounter are half slabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. half slabs. So I'm afraid of having some kind of weird air pockets placed left and right. <laughs> Let's just hope that everything everything goes fine something like that. Yeah, and Yeah, fingers crossed everything goes fine. I like this Mushroom top on top of this building. <laughs> it looks really nice. Oh blue has started to build his house and I've added slabs on this level here uh, uh, Yeah here <laughs> And it looks good. It looks good um I think it kind of wraps that area around. But since this place is so dark and full of creepers, the night is full of dark and creepers. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's dark inside. That's why we can't see the difference at all. So I'm gonna place a chandelier of some sort in the middle there. And once we get some light going on inside of this room, maybe we'll see that place a little bit better in its full glory. I gotta get away from those creepers. <laughs> and that should do it for the chandeliers in this room. I hope that this place is gonna be properly lit up when the night comes. I don't know if the bad guys are gonna be... Oh, yes, they're gonna be able to spawn here. <laughs> of course they are, of course they are. We're gonna have to find some kind of solution. But I was thinking of maybe uh, decorating this place to be like a meeting hall of some sort or something like that. I don't know, I don't know. We we'll see in the future. I have to talk with the guys uh, what can we do here with this room. But anyways, this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to do a little bit more. I'm going to swing from the chandelier. From the chandelier, I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist, like it doesn't exist. I'm gonna fly like a bird through the night, feel my tears as they dry. I'm gonna swing. From the chandelier, from the chandelier